we're going to show you how to use the mix tool uh, within the JIT package. So after logging into Hub and opening J2E, please find and click on the JIT tile. Uh, so for this video, we're going to look at the mix tool, which is the last tab uh, up on the top of the page, uh, and which will take you to this document or this page here. Now, mix within JIT is a, an opportunity where pupils can create a digital booklet by using pieces of work that they've previously completed within JIT. So the first thing that they will need to do is to select a page layout. So you've got four different options here. Uh, the first option is just to add uh, one piece of work. The second and the fourth option uh, allows the pupil to uh, add uh, an image or a piece of work and some text. And the third option allows a child to select four different pieces of work. So I'm going to click on this one uh, for this video. So the first thing that you will need to do is to, if I start scrolling across uh, the pages here, you can see that the rectangles change colour. Now these rectangles correspond to the tabs up on the top here, which means if I wanted to include a, a paint piece of work, I would need to make sure that this rectangle is blue. And I click the tick button. So the first page, so you can either uh, if you've selected the paint option, you can either use the paintbrush, the fill option, or the stamps to draw on the page. But I'm going to uh, find a piece of work that I've completed previously on JIT, and I'm going to select on the open button here. Now this pulls up all the, the paint documents that I've completed for my, for my personal My Files folder, and I'm going to select this one to, to attach it to the document. Once, it's, once attached, I can use the text box to start writing and to start uh, describing what kind of work that, I've, that has been completed. Once again, uh, similar to the other tools, if I click on the speech bubble, it'll read the text back to me. I had to use the work search to find an image and use in my picture. And similar to the right tool, we can easily just change the size of the text, change the text type, alter the colour of the text, and potentially use uh, the word list to add specific words to my uh, to my doc to the document. Once ready, and I'm ready to move on to the next page, if I click on that plus sign, it'll then give me prompt me to select a, a new page layout, and it'll take me over to the next page. And uh, the same again, if I click on that open button, it'll give me the option to add an image and add text here. Uh, as you can see, we've got that back arrow here, which will take me, which will scroll me from one page to the next. Uh, if I press that plus sign again, if I wanted to include, uh, let's say, a pictogram, I would again scroll the rectangle across to the red rectangle to the corresponding colour, and then press that tick button, and then I can include a, a pictogram in my digital booklet. Once finished, Please make sure that a title is included and you click on that save button to save the piece of work.